Sairam everyone and welcome to Good Morning with Gayatri Mantra. A series of conversations wherein we are going to listen to people who begin their day with the Gayatri Mantra and then fly through the day on the wings of the power of the Gayatri Mantra. And we have with us Yashas sir, Mr. Yashas. He is someone who has experienced the immense power of the Gayatri Mantra. A professional pilot, after flying for decades, now he is there teaching Bhagwan students in the Brindavan campus as well as students in the nursing college in Bhagwan's hospital. He is going to become 75 in a month or two and he does not use the lift he does not wear spectacles. He is as energetic as perhaps someone half his age. And he has experienced and benefited the medical marvels of chanting the Gayatri Mantra. Let us just listen to his story because you will get a glimpse of what Gayatri Mantra can do to you. Sir, I know you have experienced so much, but let's begin with that story of vitamin D. Right. Offering my humble prayers to Bhagawan in gratitude for giving this opportunity to share the power and potency of Gayatri Mantra. In 2010, suddenly I was laid down with very high fever, which resulted in the doctors letting me know that I have zero vitamin D in the body and nothing could be done because of age. So. All that I had then was Gayatri Mantra to support me. My father used to tell me once upon a time that I should take Gayatri as a sadhana. So I started the sadhana of doing 108 times chanting in the morning, in the early morning hours. I would always start the chanting at 5 a.m. in the morning and maybe about 45 minutes or so approximately it would take. And in the process, I found that things were slowly improving, that I was able to move and work as before without any medication because the doctors told me very clearly that at my age medication for vitamin D is out of question. It so happened in 2013, I was called for taking part in the Gayatri panel discussion. So out of curiosity, I went to the laboratory to get a test done on vitamin D and even I was shocked that within a span of two years with no medication whatsoever, mm -hmm. the vitamin D levels rose up nearly normal. Mm -hmm. They told me 30 was normal, I was at 26. Oh. <laughs> when, the Gayatri, when the deficiency was found three years earlier, it was literally zero, the figure was just four against wow. 30. Wow. So from and you took four, no medication? I took no medication whatsoever wow. and uh, just, just chanted the Gayatri Mantra but always at the same time. I mean that there is a relationship to this in the sense that Swami says that whatever we, must, we are doing, we must do it as a system. Yes. So I stuck to the same timing, always recited the Gayatri Mantra with love, remembering Swami all the time and this was the very wow. first one <laughs> and even the doctor was surprised. He said, sir, you are standing for two hours a day without sitting, you are conducting class, you don't eat breakfast, but only an out, outside force can help like this. Wow. This was the remarks mm. by Dr. Joshi at that time. Mm. Mm. And that was the beginning of uh, experiencing the potency of Gayatri Mantra mm. in my case. That wow. is how it's, it all started. Wow. So, who initiated into this Gayatri chanting? Uh, I was initiated at the age of 12 years mm -hmm. by my father, mm -hmm. uh, who, who not only initiated me into the Gayatri Mantra, but he also made me do the Gayatri Homa for a period of one year at home. Oh. And he would tell me that uh, Brahma Tejas would come. Uh -huh. and, uh, Brahma Tejas, Brahma Tejas the shine of the divine. And I didn't understand what it was then. Mm -hmm. But in later years, by the time 2010 when I started the sadhana, with uh, Swami at the background connecting to God all the time, it was clear that the meaning of Brahma Tejas is, you look at a person, you see some sort of an aura, 
and you know that this person is chanting Gayatri. Wow. In fact, one mathematics teacher joined uh, the Satya Sai College at Vrindavan mm. and somebody brought him to introduce me at the store. Mm. I looked at him, I said, are you doing Gayatri? Oh. He said, yes sir, I do Gayatri. <laughs> So I understood mm. that this is what is Brahma Tejas is all about. Mm -hmm. So I was initiated into that. Mm. So one year you did Homam. One year I did Gayatri. Every home. day. Every day. Wow. Father would lead. Mm. He would teach me, and I did the Homam. So as, as as a child, uh, you did it only because your father told you, right? Yes, because you don't much understand Correct. at that time what exactly. Uh -huh. He told me that. Your wishes will be fulfilled, Brahma Tejas will come, it will protect you. So, so did anything ever happen in the childhood like that? Um, many things happen. Mm -hmm. One of them, for example, I, I, I used to, my father used to ask me to press his legs. Mm -hmm. So I was 12 years, I was walking on top of him, he was lying down on the f floor, uh -huh. which did, did not have any mat or anything like that, naked floor. And uh, I was bored, father had gone to sleep and I was walking over him. I was, I didn't know what to do. So I opened the cupboard which was in front of me and there was a four inch iron nail in that. Uh -huh. I picked it up, kept looking around, didn't know what to do next. Saw a plug there and put it right into it. Oh and next God. was that both my father and myself, we were thrown away well, oh a distance. Uh -huh. So, but not a scratch on me. I, I, uh, I didn't learn my lesson from that. Within a few days of that, I had returned from school when uh, the mother informed me that the power supply won't be there because we have not paid the electricity bill and have removed the fuse. Mm -hmm. So I went and looked at that place. Right below that was uh, iron bar grill. So catching hold of the iron bar in one hand with the naked uh, feet, I put my finger right oh into the fuse oh to see whether electricity is there. <laughs> and it threw me 20 feet away onto the opposite wall. Once again, no damage, nothing happened. no nothing happened. This was my earliest wow. uh, experiences. But you knew? I, I did not know. You didn't I, know. I was connecting dot reflect. backwards wow. and therefore I know this is what wow. my father said. This is what is what it meant was. This is wow. what Gayatri can do. So the general, this thing that how fortunate I was in reciting the Gayatri at least once a day mm. came to my mind mm. and, and then I began to take it as a sadhana subsequently. Mm. So, too. as you later on moved on to your professional career, you used to chant Gayatri Mantra? Uh, my father took a promise that I will do Gayatri three times a day. Mm. But when I went to college and went to the Air Force, the outside world grabbed me. Mm. My, my vision changed from God to the outside world. <laughs> okay. But still, because I gave promise to my father, I would do one time a day. Mm. But even that one time, uh, now that I am looking backwards, protected me in my flying career spanning 29 years where I have seen many a problem area. Uh -huh. Many times the internal fear was there that today is my last day, oh. but I would come unscathed at the end of the day. I, I lost a number of my friends, but nothing particularly happened to me. And in one such incident, uh, I was teaching an army major how to do spin. Mm -hmm. A spin is an exercise which you start at 8,000 feet and where the aeroplane spirals around all the three axes and you plummet downwards looking at the ground. The ground rushes at you. Mm -hmm. Every turn the aeroplane turns, you lose a thousand feet. Mm -hmm. So the standard practice is 8,000 start. Two turns, 6,000, recovery 1,000, 5,000 is the ceiling off. You okay. can't come below. Okay. In this particular case, I was teaching this major. I had introduced him to the spin. He did it very nicely. So I told him, you've got controls, you show me a spin. Okay. He went into the spin very nicely. First turn over, second turn over. So recovery, I found all silence, nothing happened. I said, Majumdar, what happened? <laughs> no reply. Mm -hmm. I said, Machumdhar, come on man, we are already coming 4,000 feet, we have crossed our limits. So suddenly I felt like I should pull the stick back and take over control. Mm. When I did that, I found that he had frozen on the controls oh my God. and he was a solid fellow. I was a thin fellow and I didn't have the power to overpower him to take that pressure off. I was lost. I didn't know what to do. The ground is rushing at me. And there are, for such emergencies, there are no standard operating procedures <laughs> which flying gives you. This is something out of the book. Mm. Suddenly a flash came mm. and I heard myself say, 
see the plane will come out by itself oh what made me say that till today i do not know this sort of a flash messages later i understood is how god talks to you wow. how the power of gayatri comes to you mm. and i have been experiencing it many times over the years till today wow. i have been continue to experience that mm. so the end story was that i got just enough time the moment i used the word see plane come off by itself i found him relaxing on the controls oh. giving me a chance to take over we were just about 1000 feet around oh. when i took over <laughs> one more turn and we'll be into the grounds so this oh. was something amazing that took place uh, during my service career uh, there are there have been so, other so this was the time you didn't know swami and the only thing you were doing was chanting the gayatri uh, for me i i didn't know swami but i was a believer in god in yes. general mm. and i also had this problem in me that god can come only as a human being and i had this dichotomy mm. that human being cannot be god <laughs> okay. so i was going through that phase and accordingly i paid a price also swami always has been dealing with me in the sukshma rupa rather than in the physical form <laughs> it has always been more in that mm. so the the very fact of connecting to god mm. through the gayatri mantra is more than adequate in my yes. experience wow into coming out of all your problems wow i mean they problems. say you know gayatri mata is uh, sarva roga nivarini and you have experienced that yes. i mean um the very fact that you are alive and you are healthy absolutely <laughs> and and so vibrant is because of the gayatri absolutely. mantra absolutely you don't take any medicine <laughs> and absolutely. you don't wear glasses i, mean, I don't wear that is something again uh, hmm. somewhere around 45 years all of us go through myopic condition hmm. and we have to wear reading glasses yes. so too i also started hmm. when i was in the air force uh i used to wear those glasses when i crossed the 45 years mm. i joined uh, swami sashram at brindavan wearing those glasses mm. but uh, because the sadhana had started mm. i don't remember really i now can't go back and put a fixed date but maybe about 4 5 years down the line uh-huh. i used to keep four glasses one for travel one in my bag one in the workplace one at the bedroom suddenly the need to wear glass went off without my knowledge wow i really even now i don't know after when you started the gayatri after sadhana. i started the gayatri sadhana it is from then at least now for a period of minimum 9 years wow this this is how i have in fact i brought my glasses <laughs> this is how i used to look once upon a time and i have i becoming younger i i, I had to locate this just for this today's uh, this thing wow and uh, i i'm not uh, wearing any glasses i'm reading as comfortable as anyone wow. else wow uh, this is something mm. amazing mm. once again this something amazing wow. but of course i i recall swami having said some way uh, that along with the gayatri mantra mm. if one can recite aditya hridayam yes the two combination mm. works very well mm. now in my particular case the aditya hridayam was taught to me by my father in my young days oh, so okay. i have been reciting that as well oh wow so now it is a combination of aditya hridayam yeah. and yeah. gayatri i mean put both together. are actually um, adorations uh, to the sun. sun god yes and you know the power of the sun basically our eyes are connected to the sun as swami says mind is connected to the moon so you are actually drawing power from the sun in the and and uh, you are radiating the grace and the shine of the sun absolutely basically. in the initial days i thought it was the sun mm. but if you read swami closely mm. he says the effulgence yes which gives the power to the sun <laughs> so the that sun means, of the sun <laughs> yeah he, he that means he can light up a thousand suns, suns yes. and you cannot describe that effulgence yes. that descends Absolutely. depending on our ability to to take that yes to take that wow this wow. this has been the experience in as mm. far as the mm. uh, eyesight is concerned mm. so far so good <laughs> though i am approaching now 74 Fantastic. i have yeah. not felt any problem mm. that's it and the gayatri mata is also uh, uh, adored as a uh, the one who fulfills all your desires yes and um, if you look at your life uh, was it that um, you always wanted to become a pilot no. or or did gayatri again <laughs> no no <laughs> piloted you into this profession See, in my case i'm always now connecting everything backwards ever mm. since the sadhana i started until then i was not aware 
but uh, what my father taught me and what Swami taught because I am teaching the subject for our mm. students here, mm. a lot of uh, jigsaw puzzles fell into place. I was 12 years and we used to lie down on empty floor staring into the sky when I was young mm. because of, it was a hot place. And one such day as I was looking in the night sky, I saw something moving. Mm -hmm. By then I had already started the Gayatri chant mm. and something inside me said, how nice it would be if I was to sit in that moving thing. Be in the sky. No, be, be inside moving that thing. moving thing. <laughs> wow. And within a few years, believe me, 12 years of age we are talking about. Mm. By 16, one is already in our mm. days, we mm. were in, I was in PU. Mm. But I finished PU, gave up college to join a scholarship flying. Wow. And I, I, out of 250 candidates, I competed against and got that scholarship. Wow. And I sat in that little thing. <laughs> so this is what I, I understood, mm. Vancha Palashri, mm. and, and it is not the end. Mm. Similarly, mm. I had some bad habits. Mm. I, I gave up those bad habits because Swami came and said that I must give up those bad habits. I said, because I, I used to chew tobacco. Mm -hmm. So one day the thought came, Swami, I misused my tongue for this wrong purpose. Mm -hmm. Now that I have started singing Your Glory by bhajans, mm -hmm. why don't you give me a bhajan of my own? Uh -huh. With that thought, while traveling in a bus, I went off to sleep. Mm -hmm. And a bhajan rolled in by itself. Oh, all mm. set very well. Mm -hmm. uh, if yeah, you please, have please. time, oh yeah, please sing the three lines. It it was on uh, Devi. Mm -hmm. Rajeshwari, Saishwari, Jai Jagajanani Saishwari, Bhava Bhaya Bhanjani, Papa Vinashini. Palaya, palaya, paratini vasini. Palaya, palaya, paratini vasini. Rajeshwari, Saishwari. This is something which came mm -hmm. by itself. I mean, I have more such incidents mm -hmm. on the Vancha Palashri. Uh -huh. Swami says in Gayatri while talking, mm -hmm. Pure thought is very essential. Yes. If you can become like a child mm. and think something pure yes. and recite Gayatri, mm. this is you, are, you are assured it is taken care of. Wow. So nice it is. Wow. So nice it so is. So you have an instance for that? Pure thought and the power of Gayatri propelling the, it. The, both the incidents which I am saying huh. was pure thought. For example, I was very young. I was pure in my mind. Yes. I just wanted to sit there. <laughs> the, you, you see, when I when I yes. went for my Air Force selection, mm. everyone looked at me. They said, you are a skinny fellow. Mm -hmm. You will not go there. Mm. Look at your friend who is going. He looks like a tomato. He is the person <laughs> who will join the Air mm. Force. Mm. But they were all rejected on the first day. On uh. the entrance day, they were rejected. Uh. I stayed for full six days, completed everything. I didn't have a chest. Uh. A farmer came to my help. Yeah. He said, I must do rope climbing, I will get my chest. Yeah. I don't know, we all look at farmers as unpad people, <laughs> but something told me, believe him. Oh. So I believe So this farmer climbed. told you to do rope climbing farmer and you built your chest? I, <laughs> one and a half months, I got my two inches of chest. <laughs> wow. I will keep climbing until my hands bleed, oh, wow. but I believed in him. Mm. Now these are all pure thoughts, there are, there are so mm. many more. In fact, I could give you one mm. more quick example. Yeah. I came to Swami, mm. I was still in the Air Force. So I used to tell Swami as boss. Mm. I'll tell him, hey boss, this is the way I used to address him <laughs> in the initial days. Mm. So we were sitting in bhajan in the initial days. Swami's chair was in the center. I'm sitting diagonally across. Aarti had started. The flower is there on Swami's chair. Fans are off. Mm. Winter time in any case, no air. Mm. As the Aarti was going on, I had this thought, hey boss, now that I have come to you, mm. I hear that your malas will swing, this will take place, <laughs> that will take Why don't you just lift that flower off and give it to me? Mm. Even before I concluded the thought, that flower took off and came and fell in my hand in Delhi. Wow. All the Samiti were witness to this. Oh my God. And I used to call him boss, not even <laughs> Swami. So, 
it's amazing mm. the amazing. power of pure thought mm. amazing amazing mm. that's wow. all i can tell you wow so so now uh, when you talk to the students you talk you tell them about the power of gayatri oh, I in, in i share every bit of this wow. i mean there have been so many times how i ran and climbed buses literally to fall but that would not happen <laughs> how i would trip and go around 100% i would fall near close to the ground last moment i'll pick up because now gayatri as a sadhana when i talk to nobody it starts mm. by itself in the heart wow so in other words one must internalize gayatri to get mm. the benefit of it mm. not talking to anyone traveling anywhere sitting mm. quiet start mm. gayatri it the life be should become continuous sadhana gayatri should be going on absolutely then you will uh, experience the protective power actually people don't appreciate yes. it they look at that they need to go to doctors for the smallest things mm. they don't want to experiment with this that's a sad aspect of the whole thing but, but your life is a live on, example mine is a live example no doubt about it yes no doubt about it i mean people they are there are witnesses all around in the ashram <laughs> they have seen me everywhere during these years yes i have done like that and you are an inspiration for all the students and that, that, that's all swami's uh, will i i would say wonderful thank that's you so done. much you, for driving down all the way and coming uh, to share this beautiful uh, uh, instances of the power and the efficacy of the gayatri mantra Thank dear you, viewers the spiritual conference in prashantinilayam is going to happen on november 20th and 21st and one of the main areas of discussion is the chanting of the gayatri mantra we are going to have the gayatri mantra chanting rendered by bhagwan and that there, there is going to be a collective rendition of the chanting of the gayatri mantra in the sai kulwant hall so even as we prepare for this beautiful event it is really a, a great opportunity to take up this sadhana and see for ourselves the beautiful effulgence that gayatri can fill our lives with thank you so much sai ram go dhur bhuvasvaha tat savitu varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dio yo no prachodayat dio yo no prachodayat om tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dio yo no प्रचोदयात ओ भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्य वर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धीमह धीयो यो न प्रचोदयात